Okay, hey there everybody. Um this is Barry from the Sucky Gamers and I'm gonna show you how to live stream to Twitch TV or any little live stream site I guess um with your Oxio Game Cap H D Pro. And the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna show you how to do it with XSplit. And we're not gonna use uh the Roxio Game Capture H D Pro like software. Um to live stream. We are going to use the software, but we're not going to use a live stream feature on it because, as some of you may know, it just completely sucks. Like, you'll not get the stream that you want with the Roxio Game Capture HD Pro streaming software. Um, so, first, let me tell you why we're not going to use the Roxio software to stream. First, I'm going to open it up and um, click on Capture here. And I already have my capture card all set up and everything, so you'll be able to see like what it looks like on my Xbox. Let me just close the uh, that other window. Um, so we give it a little bit of time to load up here. And still giving it time. Okay. Now, now we have this open, let me show you why we're not going to use this. So if you go to tools, then options, you see you have like the general thing and then you have a live stream tab. Alright, now you have your video presets for live streaming. Pretty much, like I tried to go 360, it didn't work really. Um, really nothing works and I'll show you why. Uh, if you, say if you want to stream in 480, which is like actually really good quality for 480. It's basically like 720. You, if you um, try to go 2,000 bit rate, then you click somewhere else, it'll drop it down to 1741 bit rate. Now, this is why the the bit rate in this program is why it doesn't work. The bit rate that they give you for 480, like the highest bit rate you can go, is only 1741. You can't go any higher than that. And because of that, your video stream is like insanely laggy. Your stream will just suck. There will be more lag than there is actual like gameplay and it's impossible to stream like that. I mean if you could up the bit rate to like 2500 maybe it wouldn't be so laggy like on 480 but you can't. It's restricted and you can't do it. So that's why we're not going to use the Roxy of software because it's garbage. But we need to keep this open for what we are going to do with XSplit. Now it's just we want to set the Roxio program up now to uh, use the XSplit. So what we want to do is we want to put it on probably 480. That's that's a good. Um, we don't. We probably don't want to go 720 just because of resources and everything. So we'll just go 480. Okay. Now they have it set on 480 and stuff like that. You just this little slider right here. You just put it in the middle. That's pretty. I mean, this is what it looks like on that. It's, I mean, it's pretty clear. So now. What we want to do is we want a good XSplit. Now there's an important, um, well, you just go to XSplit.com to get XSplit. But there's an important thing about XSplit that you need to know. We don't like see. You can see down here it says XSplit Broadcaster version 1.2 is here. We don't want to get 1.2 for uh, the way I'm going to show you how to do it. 1.2 actually has. Um, support for the Roxio Game Capture HD Pro that's like the new in the version 1.2 of XSplit but you actually have to pay a monthly fee to um, use that feature with the Roxio and it's like you have to buy like the most expensive XSplit package like to to do it to to use your Roxio Game Capture HD Pro with like the support that they had that they added in the version 1.2 so to do it free you can't do it on 1.2 because like the old way people used to like stream with the Roxio before there was like um, support for it you can no longer do that in version 1.2 since they added support for it it's kinda kinda stupid if you ask me it's like because you can you can no longer in the ver XSplit broadcaster version 1.2 you can no longer stream your Roxio for free so what we want to do is once you get to xsplit.com you go to download the latest version and the link to the website will be in the description um, 
then you don't click 1.2 you make sure that you download XSplit 1.1 and once you download that it'll tell you to make an account and stuff and you'll want to make an account obviously um, I'll just open it real quick here and I will show you um, how to stream with this with XSplit um, so just let me log in and everything like that give it a little bit of time and it'll say that there's a 1.2 version and that you should update uh, you don't want to update so just click now um, I'll explain to you like what happens in version 1.2 when you try to do this method um, of live streaming with Araxio. What we want to do with XSplit is we want to make a screen capture of of um, the window, the like video feed in our um, Raxio program right here. So we just had to wait for this to. All right, we just had to wait and click continue. Okay, click continue. All right, so now I have XSplit Broadcaster open. I have. Some, I can't I can't move this because for some reason when I'm recording it, it like lags and it's kind of stupid but whatever. Um, so what we want to do here is hold on I need to get the lag to stop. Okay. All right. As you can see, um, I have screen regions. That's what we want to do. To make a screen region, um, you just go to Add and you go to Add Screen Region and what this little selector thing will pop up and what you want to do is you want to go like you don't want the XSplit broadcaster window in the way obviously but I can't move it so that's kind of a problem for me um, you want to like click you want to find like the corners of your video right here see how my video on my Xbox is right here you want to find one corner and line up this little thing here click and drag and it'll like and just like um, pick your video feed of your Xbox or your PS3 or whatever and then once you're done you just let go and then you'll it'll add a screen region and you just click that you can click the screen region this is a screen region that I just made right here that I'm wiggling around I mean I have other ones but that's just from before let me un let me unclick one of them actually so this is my screen region that I just made now you just maximize it like that and then you have your video feed now um, in the version 1.2, if you try to do this screen region, like on the Raxio software, it'll just show up as a blank black screen, and you can't get you can't get any video feed because they kind of like tricked you into having to buy it to um, to uh, stream with it. Um, the other in version 1.2, how you stream with the Raxio is you just go to Add, and you go to Add Camera, and you click on the Raxio GameCap HD Pro, and it will work. Um, if you have the license and everything which you have to buy um, it'll work just like the Raxio Game Capture HD Pro software see how it says source and you, you just click on Raxio Game Capture HD Pro and you have this video feed that's what it would look like in here but instead we're making a screen capture of the video feed so that's pretty much the only difference now we go to settings um, I stream kind of often um, so I have mine set up uh, very well. Um, well, I think very well for doing this method. Um, first, we'll do you go to view and do resolution. Um, I stream this like screen capture thing in 480. Um, you can do 720. I'm pretty sure because I have before. But there's really not a difference in quality just because of the screen capture and everything like that. Um, 25 frames per second is good. Um, now if if you put it on like 720 or 480, um, actually your XSplit will probably your XSplit window will probably be bigger than mine is. So like, if your XSplit window is like in your video feed, like mine is right now, as you can see in this window right here, how my XSplit window is kind of like covering up the video feed. If you, I could just move this over to like this area, the XSplit window, and it'll be like out of the way. But if it's like really huge, you can go to scale viewpoint and go down. See, mine's on 40%. Like, if I put on actual, it'll be, like, really huge, and I can't, like, move it out of the way. 
So if I go to scale viewpoint and I go to 40, I can actually move the exploit window like out of the way in my video feed. So now that we have that covered, um, let's see if there's anything else in here. No, there's not really anything else in there. Um, you want to go now. You want to go to broadcast tab, edit channels. Um, you you can add your Twitch TV channel or whatever other channel you want to stream to, and once you add it, you are good to go with that. Um, you want to now you want to click on the general tab. Um, now you, this is how you want to set it up. First of all, this will be checked. This disable arrow theme box will be checked when um, you first start up XSplit. What you want to do is uncheck it because if you um, the arrow theme is see how this is all like fancy down here and it can be see through and stuff like that. Um, it'll disable that and it'll like switch it to like a basic theme. The only problem with the basic theme is that Roxy, the Roxio Game Capture HD Pro software right here will actually like crash and will stop working if you disable your arrow theme. So you don't want to disable your arrow theme so that's why you uncheck that. Um, now you click your audio microphone that you want your voice to come through. Um, mine is coming through my, my when I stream mine comes through my laptop um, microphone or I can like select the microphone that I'm using to record this video right now which is the Microsoft Live Chat but yeah so that's your uh, microphone. Uh, you want to unclick use Windows XP sound um, you don't really I, that's how mine is set up um, it should work the same way, I believe. Um, you get your game sound from your um, Roxio program. So um, now, since your video from your Xbox to your computer is like delayed, and the video from your um, computer when you stream is actually delayed, you have to put your microphone on a delay. And I figured out that streaming this way the 1500 millisecond delay is the best delay to where your audio from your microphone will match up with your video so that's what you want to put it on 1500 I think I used 2000 at one point but 1500 is pretty much the standard that you need to use now that you have all that set up just click apply and that'll apply the cha any changes you made next you want to go after you do that you want to go to the channels tab now you want to click on your channel, click edit, and uh, your username and password and everything will be there. Now you want to pick the location that's best for you. I'll show you that really quick. See how it says, you know, the milliseconds or whatever. Like mine, my best is U.S. Midwest Chicago, 23 milliseconds. So that's the one I want to pick. All right. Now my video preset is very fast. Um, that's fine. I'm that's what I use to stream and I get pretty decent quality um, I use 6 quality with a bitrate of 2000 now the bitrate corresponds to your upload um, say your upload like my upload is I have like a 3 meg upload and like a 22 download and like 2000 um, bitrate would be 2 upload or like 2 meg upload so I have mine on 2000 and since it's a, um, since you're not using like a lot of resources, like I'm not playing a game at the same time I'm like streaming on my computer, um, you can use a higher bit rate than normal um, without it. Like I, like I said, I use like a 2,000 bit rate, and I have like a three meg upload, which is pretty pretty decent. Um, and it doesn't bog 2,000 bit rate doesn't bog down my internet connection internet connection like whatsoever. Um, it's like a pretty, pretty good bit rate for what I'm doing. So I'd suggest either 1,500 or like 1,800 to 2,000, um, anywhere in there. Um, so yeah, that's what that's what I have that on, and that's what you should put it on too. I recommend that. Um, now uh, all this other stuff, I don't know. I kind of don't mess with that really. Once you have that all set up, just click OK. And then, oh, hold on a sec, and then you should be good to go on that. Um, Alright, so now we need to be able to stream. So, 
now that we have our um, everything all set up and we have our screen region all captured and whatnot we want to um, oh hold on before I forget this right here is your microphone volume as you can see when I'm talking and a little thing goes up and this right here is your game volume so you can adjust those accordingly and um, anyway now to stream you click on the broadcast tab and then you pick your channel and it'll just start streaming like whatever is in this window in this window right here in XSplit it'll start streaming that so um, yeah that's pretty much all you need to know that's how to stream with XSplit um, uh, for free actually without our prior to the um, or after the 1.2 update because in the 1.2 update you can't use this method so um, I hope you guys like the video and thanks for watching